Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today we got our first official look at the Pioneer that became available during a VIP pre-sale, where it's being sold in limited numbers of about 2,000 right now, with about 1,000 remaining. And probably a second wave coming either tomorrow or during CitizenCon, uh, with the war bond going for $750 and the full-on version being about $850. Bucks. So the ship is exactly what we expected it to be on, in purpose, you know, like a base building facility for outposts on planets. Um, and just like with all of these pre-sales, we didn't get a whole lot of information to really go on, but we do know that it's a mobile construction yard to build the modular structures that we see in outposts on planets. Now, what the ship does, um, I guess as confirmed in a tweet, uh, is take raw materials that you have on board to produce outposts, as opposed to just hauling the outpost around and dropping it somewhere, which may be something another ship like a whole uh, series or maybe a starfarer could do. Um, based on the concept art, though, my guess is that this ship is very flat for its size, um, but upon reaching its destination, the two sides probably widen a little bit with the top lifting up um, and creating space, basically revealing an open bottom uh, to the ground, and then a crane in the middle that appears to be on a rail system to move materials around uh, the ship and really place them on the planet's surface gently. Now inside, you're likely going to see a lot of space for equipment um, and to, uh, you know, just kind of move materials around, as well as some likely laser stations for pseudo-welding situations. Um, and on the right wing, you can see that there's actually a storage area for materials being used in construction, and they kind of look like giant blocks of steel or something, um, so you may have some sort of smelting station on the interior as well. Now these ships are being sold with one land claim and enough inventory and materials to construct one outpost. Now what that means is that you can't just drop down anywhere and make a base. You're going to need to work with the UEE to get your approval for that. Now the game may let you do this anywhere, which I think they'll probably restrict it, but um, you're probably ending up breaking the law in doing that, so it could be an mis um, expensive mistake. Um, they did say that they weren't really ready to share specifics on the claim system yet, so we're going to kind of have to wait and see there, but they did confirm in another tweet that it does mean that you're awarded UEE protections at your settlement. So this ship, um, it's, I guess it's really designed for construction, is huge, it's expensive, but it's very cool. Um, design isn't like anything we've really seen, and it does change the game to some extent, so that's pretty awesome. So for the time being, uh, when these pre-sales happen, I generally tell people to kind of wait for more information before jumping in to buy. Um, but this is an interesting situation since the ship is limited. I think if you're wanting a ship to do construction and you have the money and you could comfortably spend it, um, and there isn't really anything else like this ship, so I mean you may want to jump on it, but just know, I mean, you're obviously taking a little bit of a gamble at this point uh, without more information. Now, if you were planning on spending the money in the game anyways, then your risk becomes a little bit less because you could just buy it, melt it, and then use the credits elsewhere. Um, so you've got some flexibility in that regard. The good news is, is that this um, ship is pretty expensive, um, which means that it's probably not going to be flying off the shelf at its certain speed. So if you pay attention to the upcoming days, you may end up being able to get the extra information that you want and still be able to make the purchase at that time. But again, and time is going to be crucial, especially since there's going to be a lot of people watching CitizenCon. Um, so once we get the more information, uh, I'm going to make sure to break it down for you in a lot of detail. Just so you guys know, um, my nephew was just born, so I'm not going to be around a lot this weekend, unfortunately, meaning I'm not going to see a lot of CitizenCon, but that also means that the um, should you buy video may be a little bit delayed. Um, so it may just turn into a should you have bought video <laughs> uh, with it being a limited ship. Um, but I'll try and tweet out some thoughts and things as I can as, an, as I'm getting up to speed. So let me, guys, or let me know if you guys have questions now. Otherwise, have yourselves a great day and take care.